Hey, what's going on, guys? So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the dynamic lighting system inside Unreal Engine 5. Now, one of the cool things about dynamic light system is that from my understanding, you absolutely don't have to bake your lighting anymore, which is really sweet. Now, I was told that baking your lighting in a map was really a pain in the butt before, but now with Unreal Engine 5, as you can see, I'm changing that light as the game is progressing all live. All dynamic, look at the shadows are changing and, all, and it just doing it all by itself. So I'm gonna stand right here. You're gonna see his shadow really just moving without baking anything. Now I didn't really get to bake a lot of lighting because I came in the Unreal Engine 4 kind of towards the end. So I didn't really have to bake too much. I was using a lot of dynamic lighting to begin with. But as far as I know, to do something like this before was really a big pain in the butt. And yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but somebody wanted to see how this dynamic lighting is working in UE5 and you are looking at it right now, which is really cool, I think. So let's walk around this scene here. This is the medieval map. I did not make this map. This is Quixel's map. All I did here was put the characters in here and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and fight this girl real quick and um, we'll, we will push on to the map, all right? So let's take a look. And as you can see, it's gonna get dark. And what that's doing right now, what I have going on, it's just a directional light rotating around at a certain speed, so it's changing the light. I mean, look at this. This is pitch black. You see fog there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But right here is simulated time of day. So right now we're like 9 p.m. At 01000, first day of life, I guess. So let's stand here and wait for that sun to come back up. Is it really a time saver or is it just like all hyped up? Like, was this really hard to do before? I'm just really curious. And you can see right now the sun's coming up. There you go. Six o'clock in the morning. The shadows are all dynamic. The lighting is dynamic. This girl is dynamic. So, yeah. And I know I'm recording this as well with GE4's shadow play, so the quality is probably not as good. But later down the road when DLSS comes back online for UE5, I'm going to redo this map in 4K. But as you can see right there, the shadows, the light, Lumen is working. I'm going to go in here. See right there. I guess I don't fit, I'm too big in there, so I can't actually go inside. But look at this, this is so freaking cool. Like it's actually mimicking like real life bounces and shadows. Now this really reminds me of the demo, the RTX GI I did for NVIDIA, because RTX GI is pretty much doing the same thing here, but it's a little bit hardware based. And this one right here is Lumen, so this is software based. So in theory, I believe that this should help slower computers as far as gaming goes and as you can see it's getting dark again and there's absolutely no light in here there's absolutely zero light so we're gonna keep walking here until the sun goes back up and i'm probably just gonna fast forward this video so you don't have to wait forever okay here you go 6 a.m i'm gonna draw my weapon now and let's see oh that's right i got rid of the enemies here <laughs> So yeah, here it is with the dynamic lighting over here. Really cool. I mean, you can see that sun really change, rotate around the map here. And yeah, so his feet is not matching the landscape right now because I don't have um, IK turned on yet. I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn that on so that it is actually look like he's stepping on the ground. So you can see his foot's like buried down there. I gotta turn on IK, I know somebody noticed that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Lumen, Unreal Engine 5 with dynamic change lighting. I know a lot of people have, have done this test before with like a simple room, but I wanted to show it in an actual map. Something like that would mimic like an actual game. You can see that shadow's creeping in. It looks really creepy, but it's cool. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more tests. If you all have any questions, let me know. And we're almost at 40,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway. It's going to be amazing.
looks like it's going to be an RTX 3060.